welcome to our new video. For today's video, I am going to discuss how to think like a scientist through the use of scientific method. But before we proceed with our discussion, let us have a recap of what is science. According to Merriam-Webster, the word science is derived from the Latin word scienza, which means knowledge. Science is a systematic and logical approach to discovering how things in the universe work. It is also the body of knowledge accumulated through the discoveries about all the things in the universe. One important aspect of the scientific process is that it focuses only on the natural world. Anything that is considered supernatural or beyond physical reality does not fit in the definition of science. Science is based on facts, not on opinion or preferences. The process of science is designed to challenge ideas through research. When conducting research, scientists use scientific method to collect measurable, empirical evidence in an experiment related to a hypothesis that is designed to support or contradict a scientific theory. The scientific method is the process of objectively establishing facts through testing and experimentation. It uses series of steps to establish facts or create knowledge. The basic process involves making an observation, forming a hypothesis, making a prediction, conducting an experiment, and finally, analyzing the result and constructing conclusions. The scientific method can only answer questions that can be proven or disproven through testing. The overall process is well established, but each step may change depending on what is being examined and who is performing it. Now, allow me to discuss the steps in scientific method. First, you need to make an observation. The first step in scientific method is to observe something that you would like to learn about. It can be qualitative observations where you can use your five senses such as sense of sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. It can also be quantitative observation which is focused on numbers and values. Second, come up with a question. Identify the problem by asking a questions that you would like to answer. Ask a question about something that you observe such as how, what, when, who, which, why, or where. These can be specific or general questions. Third, develop a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how things work. It is an attempt to answer your questions with an explanation that can be tested. You can use if and then statement in creating a hypothesis. State both of your hypothesis and the resulting prediction. Prediction must be easy to measure. Always remember that in creating a hypothesis, explain what you expect to happen. Be clear and understandable, be testable, be measurable, contain independent and dependent variable. Now, what is a variable? When we say variable, it is anything that can change or be changed. In other words, it is any factor that can be manipulated, controlled for, or measured in an experiment. Now, there are three types of variables. First, we have controlled variables. Controlled variables are factors that are controlled or held constant throughout an investigation. They are kept unchanging so that they won't influence the outcome of an experiment. However, they have an impact on the experiment. For example, if you are measuring whether plants grow better when it is watered with milk or water, one of the controlled variables might be the type of plants. Next, we have the independent variable. It is the factor that you purposely change in an experiment. For example, 
In an experiment looking at whether plant growth is affected by watering with water or milk, the independent variable is the substance used to water the plants. Many experiments are based on if-and-then scenario, whether the researcher measures what happened if a variable is changed, the if part of the experiment is the independent variable. Next, we have the dependent variable. The dependent variable is the variable that you are measuring to determine whether or not it is affected by a change in the independent variable. In the plant experiment, the growth of the plant is the dependent variable. In an if-and-then experiment, the response to a change refers to the dependent variable. Its values depends on the status of the independent variable. Fourth, test your hypothesis by conducting an experiment. Your experiment tests whether your prediction is accurate and thus your hypothesis is supported or not. You conduct a fair test by making sure that you change only one factor at a time while keeping all other conditions the same. Five, analyze your data. Once your experiment is complete, collect your measurements and analyze them to see if they support your hypothesis or not. Six, draw a conclusion. A conclusion is a statement based on experimental measurements and observations. It includes summary of the results, whether or not the hypothesis was supported. Now, the question is, do all scientists follow the scientific method exactly? No. Some areas of science can be more easily tested than others. For example, scientists studying how stars change as they age cannot fast forward a star's life by million years. Also, scientists studying how dinosaurs digested their food cannot run medical exams on feeding dinosaurs to test their hypothesis. When direct experimentation is not possible, scientists modify the scientific method. But even when modified, the goals remain the same. To discover cause and effect relationship by asking questions, carefully gathering and examining the evidence, and seeing if all the available information can be combined into a logical answer. Now, understanding the steps of the scientific method will help you focus on scientific questions and walk through your observation and data to answer the question as well as possible. Now, do you have any questions? If you have questions, just type it on our comment section below. Now, to test if you understand what we have discussed in this lesson, you can answer the following questions.
So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.